These are people literally sitting on the edges of the room on their phones because this is literally how bored they are. Where did that money go? See, I just want my money back. If I would have showed up to this event, I would have thought that this was like a trap for some type of trafficking or something. That's how weird it looks in here. Here we go again. Another day, another scam. This is like Firefest all over again. This is like the Willy Wonka experience all over again. But this time, they've targeted Bridgerton fans. There was this Bridgerton ball experience in Detroit. It turned out to be a complete scam and a sham, leaving attendees feeling very disappointed. This event took place last Sunday, September 22nd. But here's the first red flag. The event was supposed to take place in August, but was postponed to September, the day before the event was supposed to start. This Bridgerton ball was advertised as a night of sophistication, grace. They promised there would be a costume contest with a cash prize of $2,000. There was going to be classical music. There was going to be a theatrical performance like a play, and that someone would be named Diamond of the Season, which is something that happens in the Netflix show. So they're thinking they're going to get this immersive experience as if they're walking directly into the show, Bridgerton. But instead they got this. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? Terrible decorations. It's empty, it feels empty in here. I've had middle school dances that look better than this. There's not even any mood lighting, just harsh overhead lighting. Again, I've had middle school dances with better mood lighting than this. And then there are these lazy backdrops that look like they're from Timu. It's one of the backdrops. Now again, doesn't this look like something that your cousin had at her baby shower that she ran real quick to Family Dollar to get? And for some reason, there's a vase of flowers in the corner on the floor. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Nothing about this gives any authenticity to the theme, which is incredibly audacious considering this is a paid event. And if you look in the middle of the dance floor, you'll see one singular stripper pole. It's getting weird. I feel really uncomfortable. What does the stripper pole have to do with Bridgerton? What does this have to do with the Regency era? That's what many attendees were thinking. It is there for the exotic dancer that they booked for this event. This is so ridiculous and random. <laughs> so for some reason, they hired this circus performer named Tink to do pole dancing at a Bridgerton inspired event. On top of that, Tink said that she was hired for this event three hours before it started. And on top of that, she gave them different performance options that she can do. And they chose pole dancing. It's almost like these organizers did this on purpose. Like they think it's funny. Granted, I don't know what her other options are. As a circus performer, maybe the other options were really not related to the theme. But I just feel like this could not have been the best option. <laughs> to be honest, you know, given the fact that she only had three hours to prepare for this, she's doing pretty well. She's, she's out there, you know, moving and grooving, shaking her little tootsie roll, doing what she has to do to save this event. Now, I don't know if she was successful at saving the event, but she tried. And the funniest part about this is that they never said that there was going to be an exotic dancer, so people are even more confused. And allegedly guests were told that there was going to be an orchestra playing classical music, but there was just one lone violinist. Who claims she was not paid. I was the violinist that was playing at the Bridgerton Ball. Oh, and before I start that, um, I would just like to say thank you to everyone that has been trying to tip me and stuff since I had not gotten paid. 
Um, it's really sweet of you guys, except it shouldn't be your guys' jobs to pay for me. It should be the company's. So I had to call them and I was like asking when the payment was and she told me to talk to Chelsea. I ended up talking to Chelsea yesterday and I texted her and I was like, hey, when's the payment going to come through? And she was like, oh, I'll pay you Wednesday. So, but I was supposed to get the money on Sunday. So I don't know why she's paying me on Wednesday instead of Sunday, but. I've seen different reports suggesting that people pay somewhere from 100 to 150 dollars for a regular ticket at this event some people are claiming that people paid even upwards of 600 dollars for vip let's jump right into it the bridgerton ball last night it was terrible 150 dollars bare minimum per person in a spectrum of all the way up to a thousand dollars per package that's number one where did that money go allegedly a vip includes a duke and duchess dinner there are claims that the dinner package actually came with undercooked raw chicken it's raw it's fucking raw and that the food overall was terrible this is a picture that someone posted saying that this is the dinner from the event you don't fan me a tv dinner mashed potatoes cold as fuck in the middle hey, i ain't got no does that look vip to you does that even look edible to you this is cr a crazy plate to receive if you really did pay hundreds of dollars for this event this is so scammy and disturbing that i'm not a violent woman right but if i received this they might get a smooth clean uppercut out of me i'm gonna get a caucasian uppercut take you right out girl shut the fuck up you thought you ate that <laughs> just kidding I, I don't i don't fight but I would feel like Joanne, Joanne the scammer in this moment. And the organizers, a company called Uncle and Me, weird name by the way, heard the backlash and responded with this. We understand that not everyone had the experience they hoped for. And for that, we sincerely apologize. Our intention was to provide a magical evening, but we recognize that organizational challenges affected the enjoyment of some guests. We take full responsibility and accountability. They said they were working to address all the concerns. So I guess that's it. They're just working on it. People just wanted to have a nice, wholesome evening and it turned into a night of bare walls, pole dancing, and sad, sad food. Um, they said the costume contest never even happened. There, there was no diamond of the season. I feel like it is a scam. I feel like it's very intentional that they put no effort into this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like and comment, you know, comment down below. Anything, nothing weird. Or honestly, you can, you can do something weird if you want. That's up to you. But please subscribe because most people who watch this channel are not subscribed and I feel like that's really rude and disrespectful. It's like kind of anti-woman and it's anti-black. Girl, what the fuck is you talking about? Don't hate the messenger, okay? I'm just letting you know what it really is. <laughs> no, I'm joking, but please subscribe like the video and comment. Thanks so much for watching.